all right welcome back to another new series on advanced laravel and view 3 and i'm also creating one premium course on it so make sure to subscribe to the email list so that you will get notified when this course is launched and in this video i will show you how we can extract some of the code that we have written in our app.blade.php and extract that into the root component uh, that we will create which is app.view file and we'll be replacing some blade code with the view code so i will show you how we can do that step by step so now let's get started first of all let me open up the code editor and let me go to app.blade.psv file and we have everything inside of this file which consists of navbar and the sidebar left and we have this main content wrapper we have the sidebar right and footer and now let's move everything from here to our root component so let me copy everything and let's create the div with the id of app over here now let me go to resources gs file resources gs and inside this let me create a new file called app.view which will be our root component so let me create the template section and let me paste that everything over here and we need to remove our blade code from here so for now let me remove this date and replace this with the static value let's change this app name as well app name let me search for app name again app name let me remove it and here we have the other let's remove this as well and let's remove this name as well and let me search for anything over here we have this route called logout so let me remove that as well and we don't need this post method and we don't need this csrf token let me search yeah we don't have anything related to blade code and we have removed everything and now our app is currently empty so let me go to app.js file and over here while creating our app we can pass the root component so let's pass the app as our root component and let's import that app from app.view file and now everything is working but we have this static name and we don't see the avatar because we have removed the url so let's fix this if i go to app.view file let me go to the script section so let me create that script side up let me create the unmounted function and inside of unmounted function we can call for fetch settings so that we'll get these app information so let's create this method call fetch settings and let's perform the xus request to the endpoint called api slash settings and then we'll get the response back and let's set our settings state to response dot data so let's create that state called settings let's make this as null and we need to import that and now when our application is mounted we will be calling this face settings function over here we'll perform the access request so if i refresh this page let me open up the console let me go to network tab refresh it again and we have the settings we have app name date format pagination limit but we can use app name over here on our sidebar and footer so let's do that let me search for app name and let's replace this with settings dot app name we see this app name over here on sidebar and on footer as well but if i refresh this page then we'll be facing the issue let me open up the console and it is saying cannot read properties of null reading app name right here we are calling app name on our setting subject but it can be null so to fix this issue we can use optional chaining over here so let's do optional chaining if we have settings then only call this property called app name right let's search for another one settings dot app name let's use optional chaining now this will work yes let's do the same for profile picture as well as the user name go to the top let me create another method let's say phase auth user 
let's do axios.git to the endpoint api slash profile and then get the response and let's create the state call user let's make this as null and we can assign that response data to user value and let's call this inside our unmounted function and these endpoints are working because already we have created that inside our web.php file we have api slash profile we have api slash settings as well right and if i open up the console let me go to network tab refresh it and we are hitting that endpoint called profile and we get the name and avatar right we can use that over here let me search for zone doi and over here we can do user.name and if we do this we'll get the issue so let's use optional chaining as well so if we have user then only call this property and over here on source let's do user.avatar and let's bind this as well now if i come here we see this profile picture as well as name but our logout will not work if i click on logout then this is not working and we are getting the issue on cannot read properties of null on avatar so let's use optional signing over here as well and this logout is not working so let's fix this as well let me search for logout and over here we are using javascript code so let me remove it and let's listen for the click event prevent the default behavior and call the function call logout let's create this let me go to the job over here let's create that method called logout and we can perform axios post request to the endpoint called logout and then you get the response back and we can redirect our user using window.location.asref equals login let me try this let me click on logout then we are back to login page but our login page is broken uh, and i will show you how we can fix this in next video but if i click on sign in over here we'll get redirected to dashboard which is perfect so finally let me recap how this is working so if we hit the endpoint called slash admin slash dashboard first of all let me go to web.psv file and it will hit this application controller and it will load this uh, view uh, which is our basic which is our main markup so if i go to admin layouts app.blade.psp we have this which includes html markup with this head and with this body we have this script and inside our body we are creating one div with the id of app right and inside this element we are loading our root component uh, through our javascript so if we go to app.js while creating the app we are passing that app as a root component so that you would load everything and to load this dashboard if i go to routes.js we have this defined so if i remove this then our page will be empty right so we are creating the path and we are creating the route name and if someone is on admin slash dashboard then we, we are loading the dashboard component right and this is displaying this page so this is how it works and in the next video we'll extract some of the code from our app.view into other sub components like app navbar footer and then sidebar and i will also show you how we can pass props to those components and also we'll be fixing the login page so i hope this video was helpful for you so don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel as i'll be uploading the videos like this so till then have a great time and i will see you on the next one